Back to Soda City Live, everyone. It started off as a trend for comfort, but now it's an entire culture. We're talking about the sneaker culture, you know, blossoming with the rise of hip hop. Sneaker culture has created a community of expression and individuality. And to make sure that you stay swagged out in every step, I want to introduce you to the owners of Harlem's Closet, a consignment shop downtown Columbia. Welcome to the show, Andrew Davis and Kenneth Joyner. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations on a year two of business. I know you have a big event that you're celebrating uh, tomorrow, but before we share those details, I want to talk about how you all are bringing the stepping up your shoe game here to downtown Columbia. Where did the idea come from for the consignment shop for sneakers? Well, the idea came from my homie, mm -hmm. came from him. You know, he put me against the wall, basically said, if you're not going to do it, I'm still going to do it. Yeah. So if you want to do it, man, let's do it. What does sneaker culture mean to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Like the reason I got into sneakers is because my stepdad. Okay. My mom wasn't really that type of person to like buy like high priced sneakers or the newest sneakers. Mm -hmm. um, if we went to the mall, it was in the mall, I got it. But when I met my stepdad, that's when I really got a passion for it. Because it's really a value. So for people who are not familiar, you yeah. know, I think sometimes people are like, why are they standing in line for J's? Or why are they waiting for the next <laughs> drop? For the people who don't get it, right? Explain to them the importance behind it in, in, in context. Like, it's really more than sneakers. It's mm -hmm. more like the sneakers might have like, like maybe, you know, just, just a value that, you know, just picking up a pair of shoes can't even explain. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you might have a sentimental value to this shoe. Your mom might have got them for you. Your grandparents might have got them for you. These might have been the first pair of Jordans you had. But that, it's basically more than that, just standing in line. You, you want a piece of history. And it's collective items as mm -hmm. well. And they're, mm -hmm. they're constantly re-released when you keep talking about the Jordans. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the shoes you brought here today, because I know for a fact, these Pandas, the Lost and Founds, <laughs> AKA the Chicago's, are like two ex exclusive pair of sneakers. So yes. tell us about all of them. Um, so we do have some sneakers that we will have available mm -hmm. at our event tomorrow. Uh, we have a pair of Travis Scott Lows, a pair of Travis Scott Highs. Um, these are sought at the sneakers. Um, they resell yeah. for a pretty penny. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's those are things that we will have tomorrow. Yes, yeah. and it, you know, this is just in time for back to school. So let's talk about yes. prices. Uh, I know that you're going to pay your money's worth, but we're not talking about you know, excessive prices here yeah. when it comes to the shoes. So what, how do you guys uh, make sure that you cater to the community by not really hitting people on top of their heads? <laughs> I mean, really, we try to do our own leg work. Mm -hmm. So basically we can get the shoes for a cheaper price. So that way we can provide the customers with a lower price than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And then you're also doing some special things. If you follow Harlem's Closet on Instagram, you will see that they have some special deals going on. You guys are calling them steals because Literally, that's what's happening. Um, give us an example of what you have going on tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, we got the lost and founds. We got the first customer that comes in that wants a pair. We have three sizes that they can pick from, and they're going to be $250. $250. The reason that is a big deal, y'all, because... <laughs> I may know someone like real, 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 real well who played like four times for that. So if you can get those for 250, that is amazing. Uh, tell us more about your event tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we're actually gonna have like a couple, a couple food vendors. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have face painting for the kids. Yeah. Uh, we will have a lot of sneakers available. Um, a lot of them at cheaper prices. Um, also this particular sneaker right here, resells nice. for a lot okay. and we said if a customer wears a size 13 they can get them for also 250 dollars okay this particular shoe sells yeah. about 400 450 so like, that's nice and that's every saturday we do that every, every saturday, saturday. Yeah, every saturday sneakers celebrating two years tomorrow so mm -hmm. it's open to the community at the harlem's closet a consignment shop right there on gervais street 514 gervais street suite b on Saturday tomorrow, kicking off at noon to seven. You heard there's going to be activities for the kids like face painting. There's gonna be a lot of music there, food, drinks, and a lot of fun. You can also bring in your sneakers to sell, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, also we also, we, we buy, sell, and trade. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so that's really important. But before we wrap up, I gotta push this out of the way. We gotta check y'all's shoe game. Let me, let me, we gotta do the shoe cam, okay? Because you can't be buying from someone or visiting somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about. So I just had to let y'all know, check out the shoe cam there. Tell us about what you guys are wearing. Uh, I got on the Jordan SB4s. Okay. Um, and I also got a pair of the Lost and Founds on. Okay, and they're fresh too. Y'all see yeah. that, right? So if you want to stay swagged out like the owners, Andrew Davis and Kenneth Joyner, make sure that you attend the Harlem Closet celebrating two years of business. Let's pull up that information one more time. Tomorrow, kicking off at noon on Gervais Street, Suite B, 
to 7 o'clock. It's a lot of fun. Bring the kids, bring your family. You also have vintage clothing there as well. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to get swagged out from head to toe. We're going to